Uh, Bindi Irwin will be joining us next, and then Chris Jenner on the way. Robin Schultz Sugar on now here at Kiss. Champion of Dancing with the Stars, Bindi! Bindi deserves it! Yeah. King of and Jackie this morning here at Kiss, uh, Bindi Irwin. Oh, oh fresh from Dancing God. with the Stars. She won it in the US. What a huge feat. And uh, she joins us on the phone because she's back in the country. Hey, Bindi. Hi. Hey, g'day. How are you doing? Oh, Congratulations how? on the whole Dancing with the Stars thing. That was amazing. How, uh, how is the big American celebrity going? Oh, my goodness. Well, it's so good to get to talk to you guys. And it's wonderful to be home. Honestly, it was the most extraordinary experience. I, I feel like I've woken up from the craziest dream of my entire life. I, I mean, know. I'm just this girl from Australia who works with wildlife and I'm used to kissing rhinos and hugging snakes and then all of a sudden I'm learning how to dance and it was unbelievable. It was, Does this change so anything in terms of like where you go to from now? Because I'd imagine after winning that you would probably start getting a lot of offers for other things. Oh, well, you know, for me, I'm, I'm really excited because I, I want to be able to spread my message of wildlife and conservation to as many people as possible. And my goal in life is to be able to hopefully inspire a few people along the way. And so for my next, my next few projects coming up for the next few years, I'll just truly be trying to build my platform and, and affect more lives, more people. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what's yet to come. But I have to tell you, home is always going to be Australia. Yes. So it was, it was really, really nice to, to be in L.A for about three months and it was exciting it's a jungle of its own but home is always going to be here at Australia Zoo on the Sunshine and it's good good to see you don't have an American accent you know how people go over there for like a few months and then they just come back and suddenly they're not like, Australian you know, anymore like they talk like that all of a sudden like wow <laughs> yeah but then there's some people that keep it like Olivia Newton-John her whole life she's lived there yes. and has never picked up the American accent Actually, she was a, a guest judge on the show, and it was so lovely to get to catch up with her. But she is; she's always Australian, which is wonderful. The thing I like about you is you—it's a—it's a, it's a typical Australian girl thing to do to be so surprised that another country falls in love with you. You were really surprised by that, but we're, we're, it's no surprise to us because we all love you already. Oh well, thank you. I love you guys so much. But honestly, it was—it was the most amazing thing. I couldn't believe just the amount of. Support and, and love. I, I was just so excited to be able to share my story and my journey and really to be able to thank everyone for coming on this journey with us since, since I can remember. I mean, through mum and dad's documentary filming and wildlife work, there's always been so much wonderful support. So to be able to thank everybody and then, I mean, just, just to be able to hear from so many people from the four corners of the earth just really getting on board, it was, it was beautiful. So I really, I felt like I was representing home though. I felt like yeah. I was representing Australia, oh, so I wanted to do the best job I could. You and did. It was, it was really fun. And your feet got all busted up. I saw a photo of like you—you mm. you destroyed yourself. Dancer's like. feet, they call them, yeah, Kyle. Yeah, I have, know. Have you healed yet? Oh goodness, uh, uh, slightly. My toenails are trying to go, grow back. I lost three or four of them, and yeah, just a few cuts and bruises. But that's fine. <laughs> it was it was worth it in the end. And I, I have such a beautiful family. They were there to support me the entire time. Mum and Robert were, were both there with me in LA yes. every single day, and it, it's that support that really keeps you going. So they were gluing my toenails back on for me and <laughs> helping me to soak my feet, and it was an experience. <laughs> That's a true wildlife warrior speaking there, Jackie. Oh, I, I lost a couple of toenails. I would have been whinging and bitching about that for the rest of my life. Yeah. You, you're just like, you would have oh, pulled we, out. We glued them on. It's all good now. <laughs> She's a trooper. It was all good. It, you know, unless some, my dad always used to say that, you know, unless something's broken, you're fine. Oh, he's a good and, and was that story true that they're not paying you? Something about a judge wanted proof that, you know, of a, of a death certificate oh, from yeah, your that dad? Was all, or? I, I got so angry when I read that. Oh, uh, well, yeah, it was all, it's all a little bit interesting and a little bit crazy, but it's, it's all been sorted out now. And for me, you know, everything that I earn goes directly back into wildlife and conservation. And so um, it was just, it was just this crazy little error that happened. And um, a glitch, they call it over there, a glitch in the system or something like that, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's all been sorted out now. But it, what's interesting is that, you know, after it's all sorted and you pay tax to everywhere, it's, it's, it's um, the, the little amount that I did get <laughs> has all been donated back to conservation and, and it's all sorted oh. out. Oh, that's good. Okay. I saw a new idea said you were going to marry your boyfriend, and you laughed it off saying it was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I hadn't heard that before.
Oh, so I'm so glad that they filled me in on that. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, the only thing, the only thing that's happened is Robert has now fallen desperately in love with a chameleon. So oh. we're going to have to be careful with that one. But <laughs> so, uh, other than that, yeah, it, it is interesting. It's, it's nice when you find out about what's happening in your life. From yeah. Through a magazine. And did, uh, did Robert meet any of the uh, the Kendall or Kylie Jenners over there and fall in love with a human or anything like that? <laughs> I know. Pretty much, honestly, he truthfully is is just in love with the crocodiles and, and any lizards at the moment. So lizards. Girls are completely off the radar. <laughs> Good. Mum wants to keep it that way, no doubt, yeah, just for now. So does, so does his sister. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, and you're quite protective. Like you're, you're at that age now where you are, you're his protector. Well, it's true, and what's, what's interesting is that there's about nearly six years between us, and so I've always felt like even more than just a big sister. I feel like, you know, I, I have to protect him and <laughs> have to yeah. keep him safe, even though he's almost bigger than I am. He's like, <laughs> so now, and this boyfriend of yours, he looks like a nice fella. Where did you guys meet? Oh, he actually, he's, he's a wakeboarder, so he travels all over the world with wakeboarding and came to visit us here at Australia Zoo, and it was my turn to take a tour, and so I ended up touring him around the zoo and went, well, this American guy isn't too bad. Oh, <laughs> so that's how it happened. That's so oh, cute. That's I love some it. tour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so we, we stayed in touch, and I'm so lucky, truly. I, I am the most blessed girl alive. I, I keep thanking my lucky stars every single day just for my, my family support and just, you know, for me, throughout my life, I, I always try to remember that the meaning of life is unconditional love and that you have to surround yourself with that, that light and you have to find the good in every day. And I'm so blessed to have a family like I do. Oh, that's really, talking, really sweet. You've talking about, great attitude. Talking about light, uh, Oprah Winfrey's in the country. I know you've met her. You've been on the show uh, years and years ago. Do you remember that? I, I do, actually. I, I first w went on to a show when I was... Oh, I was about four years old, three or four years old with my mum and dad. And then uh, when she when she had her big finale show, we, we did that as well. Yeah. So I'm sure that she's having fun and we're inviting her here to Australia Zoo, for sure. Oh, of course. Yeah, do, oh, do you cool. reckon she'll, you, she's got a lot of money. I reckon she should donate to the uh, wildlifewarriors.org.au. Yeah, do you just hit people up for oh, it or do it. you just let them oh, you decide? you got to hit them up, Jack. you got to hit them up. We need you guys here to help us out with that. Okay, well, I'm, I'll, 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 probably see, I'll probably run into her on Saturday, so I'll just say, oh, while you're here, open the purse. <laughs> I love you guys so much. You are the true wildlife warriors. I feel like if you ever want to come to Australia Zoo, we'll give you your official car keys and you'll be set. Excellent. Well, yeah. actually, I haven't been, I haven't been to uh, to the zoo up there. For, oh, it's great. For as long as I can remember. I think I'm way overdue. Yeah, it's so Please. good. Well, you know that the... the our home is your home, so anytime you need to cuddle a koala or hug a giraffe, just let us know and, and we'll throw you in with everything. Oh, oh my God, I'm coming up for Christmas holidays then. You're so sweet. Tell, you, anytime, anytime. tell your mum to make a bed up for me and the girlfriend. We'll be there probably three weeks. <laughs> okay, so we've got one ready for you right next to Tigers. Thank you, Bindi. Thanks, Bindi. Good to talk to you, Bindi. When there, you can donate now to the Wildlife Warriors by visiting wildlifewarriors.org.au. Bye, Thanks, Bindi. Son. Thank you. Love you, too, Bye. And this morning Bye. here at Kiss FM. <laughs>